experience of living in poverty can impact on many areas of life. It goes beyond having to live on a low income and can affect access to services, rights to participation in society, health, education attainment and overall life chances. Because of this and many other factors, the New Apostolic Church Relief Organization, NACRO, which is a non-governmental organization for the New Apostolic Church, aims to contribute to improving livelihoods and strengthened resilience of vulnerable community members in its area of operation in Zambia, Malawi and Zimbabwe by facilitating access to better services and empowerment based on community needs. NACRO implements livelihood and resilience programs in various parts of Zambia, Malawi and Zimbabwe. According to the United Nations Development Program UNDP, Zambia has been experiencing adverse impacts of climate change including an increase in frequency and severity of seasonal droughts, occasional dry spells, increased temperatures in valleys, flash floods and changes in the growing season. In response to these impacts, Zambia is working to develop sustainable and appropriate programs for both crops and livestock in the face of climate change. And NACRO has taken a step further by introducing the Climate Proofed Smallholder Agriculture Promotion Project. This is an initiative of NACRO in Western Province to promote climate smart agriculture and climate adaptation interventions among smallholder farmers having risks of climate change. The project is supported through the support to civil society organizations for environmental and natural resources management in Zambia Phase 2. The target group is 1,500 households, 500 to be male-headed and 1,000 to be female-headed. On the 22nd of October, NACRO carried out an inspection on some farmers in Kande, Mongo, who are beneficiaries to this project. Some farmers through this project received farming inputs such as seed and fertilizer for their gardens. Their beneficiaries expressed their joy in the project. <laughs> Kukala mane kavu ino walu naruli. Eni, kali cha uzene walu fanga, hau lekisa, wale katu senke. Hau lekisa, banana, wabalifela kwa skolo, nisi chouli kasivili. Nesiru tusa, huko lekisa ke utani kasaka kabupi, utocha ni banana. Miki tusa yu wanako likie, tuna ule baluweze vize. Baati, yu fumani sive mashere nyamangata. Mkwenye yu kenyawa na likolo. Before this project, most of these farmers highly depended on maize as a cash crop, which is only grown during the rainy season, and this caused the levels of poverty to increase. However, with the coming in of NACRO, the farmers are now able to grow other crops throughout the year, and this has improved their lives, but also reduced the levels of poverty. <laughs> On the 23rd of October 2018, NACRO officially launched the Pass On Ceremony of Small Livestock and Rice Seeds to other local farmers in Namshakende, Mongo. At the ceremony, the Guest of Honor District Commissioner of Mongo, Mr. Susiku Kamona, said the Government of the Republic of Zambia is delighted that NGOs such as NACRO has embarked on projects to empower farmers. We want to thank you on behalf of the government, NACRO and the New Apostolic Church, and Acro and uh, and uh, yeah, Nacro and the New Apostolic Church for supplementing government efforts in reducing poverty in the rural areas. Meanwhile, Nacro Executive Director Tebuho Yubai expressed his gratitude towards the partnership Nacro has with the government. Yes, sir, at this point in time, allow me to share with you that Nacro is deeply thankful to our partners the Minister of Agriculture, Minister of Fisheries and Livestock Development, and the Minister of Community Development. For the partnership and involvement and the expertise which they provided throughout the implementation of this project. The tour of duty in Namshakende did not end there. The following day, 24th of October 2018, as Zambia was celebrating its 54th independence anniversary, NACRO donated a plow and prayer to the women and families in Namshakende. Yeah, I'm going to get the English in the mouth.
The involvement of NACRO in alleviating poverty has changed the lives of the poor in developing countries such as Zambia, Malawi and Zimbabwe. By designing and implementing innovative program interventions, NACRO has enhanced the living standards of the less privileged in society. Given the valuable experiences and development of NACRO's capacity, it is most likely that the contributions of NACRO to poverty reduction will increase in the future.